question. Can you be a leader without having confidence? That's the topic of this video. My name is Tine Rense and I help self-employed businesswomen building a business and becoming a business owner where we will work on leadership skills and scaling skills. Scaling your business. So what a question and I would have to answer yes to that because I am one of the examples. When I was young, I was leading my business, I was leading my team, I had lots of people working for me in quite a few different countries and I never felt that I was secure. So what I did is I played the role of the leader and nobody knew what was going on in my head. I did the things I thought that people would want me to do when I was a leader. Uh, but was I a good leader, in my opinion, and from what I know now, I would say no. But the interesting thing is, when you would ask my team, they would probably say yes. And I had the privilege to talk to a few uh, when they had been working for other companies as well. And they said, Tineke, so far you have been the best boss I've ever worked for. And uh, I, of course I was uh, happy, but I was also shocked because I never considered myself being a good leader because I did not feel confident. Interesting, isn't it? But now another question. Confidence and leadership. Well, I think they should be attached together because I can tell you it was never easy for me and there was nobody mentoring me at the time. So I did feel lonely, not feeling confident, but acting as if I was confident. Um, and it worked. Uh, it, it did work. I did not feel comfortable. That is something else. Can you be a leader without being confident? Yes, you can. I've just proved you. Yet, is it wise? I would say no. And will many women become a leader whilst they don't feel confident? I would say no, they wouldn't. I was a very masculine woman, so for me, you know, when you ask a man and if, he, if you ask him, can you do it, and he knows for about 50% that he can do it, he would say yes. I was exactly the same, and I am still the same, so I am out of my comfort zone a lot, but I also know that in the comfort zone, uh, going out of the comfort zone, lies growth, lies opportunity, lies synchronicity, lies a whole new world of development, personal development. So, but that's not this topic. So would this be the reason why fewer women choose to take leadership positions or choose to scale and grow their business and become a leader within their business or even within their industry. I would say it's definitely one of the reasons. All the women I work with who are self-employed and or who have a small business and now really want to start making a big difference and a big impact they come to me because they feel insecure about the next steps. Often what I do is reassure them. And yes, of course, I also teach them skills. But it's very often about confidence and leadership. That is why I added leadership to my toolbox. Working part-time, I think, is also playing a significant role in the fact why many women don't become leaders. So leadership and confidence, it requires a big trust. A big trust in yourself and also a big trust in your team and 
a big trust in the process. In the process where you hold the container for the goals and expect them to happen, even if there's no evidence yet, even if nobody knows yet how to do it, maybe even there are no team members yet. But you have this big idea, this big goal. Can you then trust that you, when you have this calling, when you have this idea, that you are also the one that can actualize it? No matter if you already know or feel that you can do it and that you're capable of. Can you trust that you are the one? And can you then trust that you'll find out how to do it? You'll find out the right people, the right partners, the right strategies the right systems to do it. Because if that is what you can do, trust the process, trust that you don't have to know, that you don't have to control, then you can be a leader. And then self-confidence is not always essential because then you can surrender to the process and trust. Now wouldn't that be beautiful? That is typical feminine. Surrendering is feminine energy, is feminine behavior. And I'm not talking about surrendering to someone who tells you what to do and who's dominant. No, I'm talking about the surrendering to a process, to the not having to know, the letting go of control. If you're capable of doing that, anything can happen. Magic and miracles will happen. Just a small example. Yes, last weekend I was in Barcelona speaking and someone told me, Tineke, you need to reach out to the women's organization PWN Global. And I had a meeting with a woman today who I know from my network, but I forgot all about what she did, but she wanted to talk to me. And she is PW, not Global, the Netherlands. But now I have a connection to PW Global. You see how fast things can go when you're always in alignment, when you trust the process, when you trust the universe, and it really helps when you trust yourself too. It does make a big difference because then you don't feel lonely. Then you don't feel insecure. So I know as a leader, I am now in a much better place than I was when I was 10, 15 years younger. So it really does help. Okay. Now, if you have a big ambition and want to become a leader in your business or even a leader in your industry and you are a woman and you are a bit insecure about the next steps, why don't you reach out to me and schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. I'm 100% sure that I can give you a few tips, which I always will, and then let's see what happens. Who knows? I trust whatever happens is good for you, it's good for me, no matter what. Bye-bye for now.